Before you see a student, you hear them. And based on their tone of voice, what they say, you make a judgment. It's human nature. But do we remember what we do? So based on trying to teach people, and especially people in education, that they will make their own judgments based on very simple things. I've created a voices, do they matter? Each time they will click on a voice, whatever, hear it, and determine if they want that person in their class. Yo! Some of them are short. Some of them are a little longer. And as you can see, some of them need some work. This is the one I've had the most trouble with. I have been able to finally connect everything, but I'm still in the process of making them into symbols, which will allow the animation to work. Once they have picked them, they will drag the little things, and again, having trouble with the dragging, there we go, into the box based on whether or not they want that person in their class. They will screenshot it, post it on the Canvas webpage, the LMS, and then reflect on somebody else's. Why did they choose differently? Using the RISE model, of course. I'm almost there on this one, but it'll be close. Next, we take on what people see. Every time a teacher looks up, they see a student, a learner, and they make a decision just on what they see. They may not think they do, or even say they do, but it does happen. This one is designed to cause hard conversations and thoughts inside your head. So it's another drop and drag. They have to look at the visuals and label them based on the 10 words. Every word must be used and it can only be used once. Perhaps one teacher thinks that this girl is fat and another thinks that she's a geek. Perhaps they think the person with no hair is a racist or maybe it's the one with the tattoos. Is everyone who is not white illegal? Who knows? It's what they think. It's an opinion. After they have labeled them all, they will take their pictures and the labels and put them into the class. At that point, they will screenshot, post it to the LMS, and review another teacher's or another staff member's posts. But they must review a person who has four differences than they do. It is, again, designed to make them think. The last asset is one of my favorites. It's where you get to watch other classrooms and make a decision of which is the ones you think are the best. You rank them top to bottom. There are a wide variety of classes. There's a lot to look at. I'm still trying to determine if these are the videos I want to use as I have three more videos coming into me from friends who want to help me out. You will be able to click on the video and watch it. You can make it large, or just see you it there. Can do it. This is my None of them are that long, so it's not hard to look at. Once you have decided which ones you like, you put your favorite one here and your least favorite one here. Or manage to put them in, in order as you see fit. Again, as the directions say, you'll take a screenshot and share it on the discussion board then you must defend your rank rankings by providing three reasons for each choice. Then review a peer that has two differences than you do, using the RISE model. Finally, they will attend a go-to meeting prepared to brainstorm on the ideas. And this is what leads us to the assessment. This one I'm excited about.